examples of the medium's proud motoring tradition. The best run in April 2015, and in December that same year, managed the rarest of feats. It came out of early access and released as a full game. Now established as one of the best off-road races for absolutely ages, this game offers a nearly perfect balance of technical challenge and accessibility through its believable handling and twisty courses. It's made all the better by a strategy element that has you looking after your rapidly crumbling vehicle across multiple stages, and a spirited mod community who work tirelessly to make Dirt Rally better. Well, if better to you means more skins. 100 over crest, keep left, finish. Before Slightly Mad Studios made Project Cars, they managed to sneak a couple of uncharacteristically demanding racing sims under the Need for Speed banner. Shift 2 Unleashed is the more accomplished of that duo, and when it came out in 2011, it introduced loads of innovations we've now come to expect. Things like the way the camera looks towards each apex, clever use of depth of field to indicate braking and acceleration, and above all, harsh but fair handling that rewards patience and practice. And if you have a soft spot for Need for Speed's car customization stuff, it's present here as a happy side effect of Shift 2's unlikely alliance. Wow, you really showed them out there. That's P1, we're the winners. Remember Slightly Mad Studios from 10 seconds ago? Well, this is what they did next. Project Cars makes Shift 2's motors feel primitive by comparison and rolls out a convincing driving experience across a wide range of vehicles. Carts, open wheelers, vintage touring cars, and just for you, a Ford Focus RS. Just in case that left anyone cold, they went and made it look absolutely gorgeous too. Launch bugs have since been squashed, and there's a Game of the Year edition that adds still more vehicles. Can there ever be enough? Looking good for some championship points. Trackmania 2 Canyon is a mega serious racing game about driving through loop the loops, up walls, and through the occasional eponymous canyon. More than that though, is about doing those things absolutely perfectly. Success doesn't just happen in this game, it's earned by hitting the reset button lots and lots of times until day and night are completely abstract concepts and there are people on hoverboards whizzing past your window. The wacky tracks convey a light-heartedness that isn't really accurate. Trackmania 2 is about perfecting an absolutely flawless run, then loading up a new level and starting all over again. Need for Speed used to be as synonymous with the festive period as roasted chestnuts, eggnog and bitter arguments with close family members. And 2012's Most Wanted was a high tide mark for the series. Not 2005's Need for Speed Most Wanted, you understand. We're talking about the more recent game of the exact same name. You know, the one with all the cars. It's also got an open world full of satisfying bends and pretty vistas, a police force staffed by Keystone Cops and Lamborghinis, and every fast car you've ever wanted, waiting to be defiled by the most obnoxious paint job you can think of. Remember that absolutely mental dream you had where Ubisoft released the driving game about a guy in a coma who solved crimes by swapping between people's minds and taking control of their cars? It was set in 70s San Francisco and you felt like Steve McQueen with every turn of the wheel, didn't you? Some of those chases, what a crazy night's sleep that was. Except hang on, remember that you never woke from that dream and actual years have passed now. This can't be real. Huh. Weird. Okay. Ah, 2013. The year Miley Cyrus came in like a wrecking ball who'd forgotten all its clothes, and Formula One hadn't yet become a mirthless procession headed by the two silver arrows of Hamilton and Rosberg yet. F1 2013 represents the most complete and satisfying package Codemasters have managed to put together to date, marrying classic cars and tracks with the usual modern day kit and challenging handling. Usually annual franchise entries aren't worth revisiting the second a new one comes out, but Cody's have yet to better 2013. Assetto Corso is another early access success story to join the ranks of Dirt Rally and Project Cars, and the end result is every bit as luxurious as either. You can practically feel the soft leather seats, such as the slavish attention to detail and rigorous level of simulation. It's lacking a traditional career mode, so most of the fun is had by simply pairing a cool car and track, but luckily there's enough of both to sustain a long-term habit. The modern community is incredibly active too. Simbin basically ruled the early 2000s with their stellar GTR and race series, and the unfortunately titled Race Injection represents the crowning glory of all their experience. Focusing on professional GT and touring car racing, and deploying killer driving physics, Race Injection has been gazumped many times since 2012 on the graphics front, but remains a rock-solid sim for those who like to tinker with steering wheel dead zones.
If you'd like to discuss more about racing games, I'll be uh, waiting in the car park outside.